What's up guys, this is Luke with Wilson Auto Detailing and the subject of today's video is steering wheel cleaning. Now I'm on location at a customer's house right now detailing one of my maintenance vehicles. It's just a Mustang, two door Mustang. But the steering wheel, it's kind of just made up of all these different buttons and there's all these cracks and crevices. So this is a really good steering wheel to kind of like uh, just make a subject for this video. And a lot of times, if you're a do-it-yourselfer, you might not think the steering wheel is kind of video worthy maybe, or it's not that complicated. But if you're a detailer, you know that detailing a steering wheel is actually a whole lot more complicated than seems on the surface because number one, it's something that's always being touched and being touched by your bare hands. So there's so much dirt caked on here that actually you're probably so used to, you don't even know the difference between a clean and a dirty steering wheel because it just seems so normal. But because it's grabbed so much, if you're a woman, you know, a lot of times makeup gets really caked onto the steering wheel. You're clicking these buttons right here, and so you're putting all that dirt right here. And you oftentimes don't actually detail the steering wheel if you're a do-it-yourselfer or don't really detail it well enough. But if you're a pro detailer, it can be a, an area of aggravation because there's so many tight spaces. So I want to hit this today and show you guys a couple different ways that you can do this. Now for this video, I'm just going to be using my Meguiar's all-purpose cleaner diluted 10 to 1 because this is a maintenance vehicle it's not too dirty I'm just kind of wiping off dust and kind of getting off some of the more stuck on dirt on the wheel part so this Meguiar's all-purpose cleaner will do just fine and if you want to pick up this product I'll link that up in the description box below it'll take you at a link to Amazon and you can buy Meguiar's APC but I also have my VX 5000 steamer here and I'm also going to be using that but I want to show you guys a couple different ways to attack this so that everybody who has all different sorts of tools. If you don't have one, you have another. Um, you can understand how to do this properly, whether or not you have nice tools or not. Now, I'm also going to be using a non-abrasive scrub pad and a toothbrush. Um, and I might even use one of my long bristled brushes right here uh, because it's great for dusting and getting some cleaner into really some serious cracks and crevices. Now, how do we want to start detailing this steering wheel? That's the big question. Well, you don't just have the steering wheel, right? You have this back part of the steering wheel, all this side, kind of this body that holds the steering wheel in place. And of course, you can, you know, move this lever down that goes up or down, in or out, right? And so what I do is, before I start cleaning, I pull it all the way out and I push it all the way down, okay? And that gives me a good view of everything behind the steering wheel that's caked up there and I can get under it, beside it. It makes it easy to maneuver. Now, you want to get the dust out from behind this um, steering wheel way back here um, and that can probably just be knocked off with a duster because it's probably not going to be dirt that's stuck on but it's just going to be kind of some crumbs and stuff so you might knock that off and maybe wipe it up with your Meguiar's APC if you like but next you're gonna have to hit this body that holds the steering wheel in place. And that's fairly easy. I don't think it needs to be overcomplicated. You can take your Meguiar's all-purpose cleaner, spray it on a microfiber towel, and just wipe it up like this. And make sure you get all the sides, and make sure you get the top and underneath. You might even wanna pull this lever down that moves the steering wheel and get that lever and get underneath its little uh, compartment right there, and then push it back up. Now the next step is going to be getting in between the steering wheel itself and this body which is you know the space where the steering wheel moves it's this tiny little crack and once again that doesn't need to be overthought you can spray your Meguiar's APC on a microfiber towel I fold it over one time and I'll just take it and thread it in between the steering wheel and that body and most of the time you're just knocking off dust in there it's not any dirt that's hard to get off and so I just thread it just like that pull it out and uh, you are good to go now obviously step number three is you're gonna start hitting the actual steering wheel and so you're gonna have to get up here down here on the sides underneath all these buttons and the steering wheel itself so I like to start from back to front so I'm gonna hit the back of the steering wheel right here and what I might do if I'm not just knocking off dust and I'm kind of getting some dirt that's been there for a little while I'll take my Meguiar's APC and a toothbrush spray it on my toothbrush and I'll just kind of scrub the top of the steering wheel like this with my toothbrush brush and my Meguiar's APC and kind of get in the cracks and the crevices of these kind of chrome platings right here um, between kind of the face of the steering wheel and the back here and then I'll just mop it up with my microfiber towel and I'll do that around all of the steering wheel so down underneath here and underneath here 
So this is a good angle for you guys, but you can see the side of the steering wheel here. You have these, you know, you got your blinker, your turning signals, you got the other side uh, uh, kind of instrument cluster that controls your windshields and stuff like that. And so what I'll do with these, because these tend to have dirt really caked on there from your hands um, and just body oils that a lot of times you don't really notice. So I'll take my toothbrush, my Meguiar's all-purpose cleaner, spray it on my toothbrush once again, and I'll just scrub this just like this. And then of course I'll just mop it up with my microfiber towel, no biggie. And uh, that's gonna remove all of the, not just surface dirt, but also the dirt that's really um, been sitting on there that you just don't really notice. And this toothbrush is really great to use for this because you have all these tiny little cracks in these instruments, like where you can push um, and make the windshields go faster, slower, um, that you wouldn't be able to get into otherwise without a toothbrush. And then I'll do the same thing to the other side. and then mop it up with my, my microfiber towel once again. And of course, that's going to remove anything and everything. Meguiar's all-purpose cleaner is just one of my favorite products. So now for the actual cleaning of the face of the steering wheel, the steering wheel itself where you hold, and these front buttons. Now, what I'm going to do is because I've already cleaned the base of the wheel, I've cleaned the back here, um, I've cleaned everything that you can kind of, it's a little bit more hidden, you can't really see. I'm just focusing on kind of this top part right here, middle part, these buttons, this chrome plating here in between it, and the steering wheel itself. Now, I like to clean the steering wheel itself last, so what I'll do is I will take my Meguiar's All-Purpose Cleaner, and I may take a makeup brush sometimes, and I'll take my long-haired brush as well. And I might just take uh, my all-purpose cleaner, spray it a little bit on my long hair brush, and just kind of rub it in uh, very gently to all these cracks and crevices here. And that's going to remove the dust from not only the surface, but also from in between the buttons. And these places that you just really can't get uh, with your just microfiber towel and your hand, it's really going to get all the dust off that and there's a very safe way to do it because you're not loading it up with liquid so it's not gonna like hurt these buttons or like damage them because all this liquid's getting in there because you're spraying it on your brush first and then you're applying it so you're not flooding this thing whatsoever you're just really getting the essentials in here and this allows you to get in between places like this where you can't like stick your finger through or your microfiber towel you can just get in here with the long hair brush you can get around the wheel like this get on the face of the wheel I might spray it on the face of the wheel a little bit just like that and bam, I'm just going to mop it up with my microfiber towel. Now, if you have compressed air, it would be a good idea to just kind of blast that compressed air in these buttons because that's going to remove all the excess um, liquid that you kind of weren't able to get out that's just kind of sitting there. Now, it will dry regardless, so if you don't have compressed air, it's not a big deal. Um, but you can also take a dry brush and just go in once again. This isn't really a dry brush, but you can take a dry makeup brush and kind of brush it out of those seams, and that would work really just as well. Now, as for cleaning the steering wheel itself, I I go about this normally one of two ways. Either one, I'm going to use my non-abrasive scrub pad and Meguiar's all-purpose cleaner, or if it's really dirty, something like Super Clean or Super Degreaser. Um, but if it's really dirty, or if I just want to do it quickly, I might use my VX5000 steamer as well, because the steamer heats up to such a temperature that it just totally melts away all the surface dirt and any caked on dirt. And so it really makes your life easier, gives you great results, and it does it very quickly. In this case, I'm going to use my steamer just for all you detailers who want to see that. But you can also take your uh, non-abrasive scrub pad, spray just like this with your cleaner, and then just wrap it around the steering wheel and do just like this. Sometimes you're going to need to be gentle when you're doing this because you're detailing a car that has a steering wheel that's um, kind of like leather and because the person has let it get so dirty, if you scrub really hard, you're going to pull off the leather and that is never a good thing whatsoever. You'll actually damage it and so sometimes you will just want to do a testing area, make sure that it's not so dirty you're going to take off the leather um, and if that happens, sometimes you're going to have to leave a certain amount of dirt on because you don't want to damage anything. But check out the difference here. You've got the top of the steering wheel that I just cleaned. So you can see it's very clean, right? It's not shiny. It's just a black finish. And I don't know if you can see the difference between this 
but that part of the steering wheel has not yet been cleaned and I don't know how well you can see it in the camera, but it's just all in these tiny little rivets of the leather and of the vinyl. You have these this lighter color, which is just dirt and body oils. But up here, it's been removed fairly well. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and take my steamer to this, and I'm not gonna use any chemical, actually. I'm just gonna use my microfiber towel and my steamer, and I'm just gonna go all around this wheel, um, or this steering wheel, and remove all of those body oils and dirt. Now, if you're a pro detailer and you used a steamer on the steering wheel, you can follow up with the scrub pad and Meguiar's all-purpose cleaner, and that's just really gonna knock out anything that may have been left behind, because the steamer kind of opens up all the pores of the rubber or the vinyl or the leather, whatever you're working on, and just kind of opens it up to pull all that dirt out, so when you follow up with a cleaner, it's definitely gonna just kind of hit that 100% level 10 mark of just totally, totally cleaning it. Makes the cleaning process way easier when you steam it, when you pre-steam it, because everything warms up and the dirt comes off way easier. Okay, so here's the finished product here. Here's the steering well wheel itself, and you can see that there's a, it's in the sun right there, it might be easier to see. And you can see that it's just a black finish. It's clean, it's not shiny. It's just a black, clean steering wheel. And of course you have all this cleaned, all the buttons cleaned. But you'll see on these chrome pieces, like in the front here, right here, right here, as you clean these, they're gonna leave something behind that I kind of call like cleaning marks or cleaning residue. And it's just like little residue that's left behind from like Meguiar's all-purpose cleaner or whatever. Um, on chrome plated things, it's very easy to see. And that's why when you get done detailing, the inside. It's always important to follow up with like a quick interior detailer or a kind of interior finisher or shine or protectant because it's gonna take all those cleaning residue marks off and you're just gonna be left with like a clean, really shiny chrome piece or a clean piece of leather or vinyl or whatever it is you're working on. So guys, that is how I go about cleaning steering wheels on pretty much all of my customers' cars. All right, everyone, so guys, if you're new to the Wilson Auto Detailing channel, then consider subscribing because I come out with daily videos of tips and tricks, not only for the professional detailers, but also for the do-it-yourselfers on products to use, tools to use, strategies, communication skills, business skills, and so much more. So if you're new, consider subscribing. And if you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up if it helped you. And guys, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, make sure to leave me a comment in the comment section below because some of the best advice comes from you guys, the Wilson Auto Detailing community. And if anybody has an idea of a video that they'd like me to make to help them out, just link that up in the comment section below and I'll do my best to get to your video that you think will help you the best. So if you'd like to buy any of the products or tools that I talked about today, whether it be Meguiar's All-Purpose Cleaner or the VX5000 Steamer, then make sure to check out the description box below. Just click the Show More box and that'll drop down the whole description box and there will be a link leading to both those products and tools to Amazon and if you use my links I get a very very small commission and it is very small but it does help this channel stay alive when my links are bringing me in a little bit of money because it does take time out of my day and my detailing process to make these videos so use my links it would be greatly appreciated and guys thanks for watching from Luke here at Wilson Auto Detailing I'll see you guys next time